Hello and welcome to our new video tutorial series on MakeCode Arcade. My name is Justin. Today we're just going to get straight into and started on moving, making and moving our player sprite around the screen. So when we start a new MakeCode Arcade project, we've always got one block here on the screen. It's called on start, and this is a good place to mention that there's a difference here between blocks and events, and we use events to tell our game when to run the particular blocks of code. Every brand new MakeCode RK project has an on start event, and that event activates when the game turns on and starts for the first time. And so in here, we can put our <coughs> code to set up all of our game data. This is normally referred to as initializing our game. So here, in the on start block, we're going to make a player sprite and we're going to actually give the game the information or the command that us as the player are going to be able to move it with our controller. So in MakeCode Arcade, all of our blocks are in categories and they're color coded and they've got a nice handy name that tells us what's inside. Because we're making our player sprite today, we want to actually look inside the sprite category. So we're going to click on it and if we scroll up and down, there's a whole bunch of blocks here. And like the on start in the background there, some of them are actually events. The one that we want, the most common one, is the very first one here at the top. Set my sprite to. And this is going to actually make our sprite. So we're going to click with our left mouse button, click, hold and drag. We can see that the block is following my mouse around. And then when we go to put the block in the event, you'll see that make code arcade will actually show us that it's going to snap inside. Let go of the mouse button, and now we have our very first line of code for our game. This is making a sprite. It's got the name My Sprite and the kind player. So us as game developers and game designers, we can actually change all of this. So the first thing we're going to do, at the moment we can't see our sprite on the screen because it's invisible. Our sprite actually isn't represented by a picture at the moment. If we click on this blank picture here, this just takes us to an image editor and we have full control here to draw a little picture like this, make it very simple, make it very complex, we can undo. We can go over to the gallery which is what we're going to do for this video and we can see that Make Code Arcade actually comes with a bunch of pictures for us to use as sprites already. Scroll down through the list, pick the one that you like the most I might just pick this guy here and we'll see that he fills up our little drawing canvas. We can click done and now our sprite is being represented by an image and that image is actually shown on our screen here. So another very important and handy thing to remember here is when we're working with sprites or when we're working with anything in a game really we need to give what that unit is a name. And in coding, this is actually called a variable. So we've made a variable here and given that variable the data type of sprite with this particular picture. But it's got a name called my sprite, which isn't very descriptive. First thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this and you can come up with whatever name you like. But because we're playing, this is the character that we're playing as, I'm just going to call it character. And now we've got a sprite with the name character that's being represented by this image on our screen and it's a player. We want to be able to move our sprite around the screen and like most video games this one uses a controller and you can think of that as an Xbox or a PlayStation controller but while we're actually making our game on our computer we can use our keyboard as our controller. We can either use our up, down, left and right buttons or our WASD buttons if you're used to playing games on a computer. The A button would be our spacebar and the B button would be our enter key. Because we're moving our sprite with a controller, the category for that movement is actually called controller. So if we click on that, these are our blocks and events for using a controller. And the first one here says move my sprite with buttons. You'll find that all of the names in all of the categories by default are my sprite. And it's up to us as the game developers to remember what sprite 
we're using at the time. We're going to drag this block down and put it underneath our first block. Let go of the left mouse button, it'll snap into place. It says here, move character with buttons. But we dragged over one that said move my sprite with buttons. It's always good just to double check. Read this out loud to yourself if it helps. Make sure that what you're trying to move with the buttons is the sprite that you've just made. So now we can test that out on the little emulator over here. We need to make sure that we've clicked on the emulator or our mouse is over it and that all of the buttons are lit up and ready to go. And if we use our up, down, left and right keys, we can see our character can move. And if we use our W, A and S, D keys, they're the same thing. If I push the space bar, <coughs> excuse me, if we push the space bar, you can see that it's saying that we're pressing the A button. We can see that we're pushing the B button, but we haven't written any code for that. All we've got at the moment is we're moving our character up and down. And that's important to remember, up and down, left and right, there's two sets of directions we can move in because we're making a two-dimensional game. Now I've made just a quick background image to help show you this. That when our game loads, we can see that when we're moving up and down, this is called the y-axis. We're moving up and down in the y-direction. And when we move left and right, we're moving along the x-axis. If we click the plus button here on this block, it's going to give us some more options. And we've got an option now VX and VY with a number in it. Now V stands for velocity. And as we can see here with this background image, the X means along the left and right axis. And Y means along the up and down axis. And we're moving with a speed of 100 when we move our controller with our buttons. We can change this. Let's change it to 50 and we know that we're going to move slower. And if you want, have a guess. How much slower do you think we're going to move? And if you guessed half speed, then that's correct. So the number here gives us an indicator as to how fast we're moving. But just to highlight this, let's just do something a little wacky. Let's just say we can only move left and right at half speed. And we can move up and down at double speed. Now move your character around with your keys and see what happens. We're moving left and right at half speed, but as soon as we press up and down, we start going super fast.